Hi, it's Claudia from Create with Claudia. Stick around because I'm showing you a trunk show with three years worth of Island Batik Ambassador quilts that I made. I'm taping this video in January of 2024. It's my first year after three years of not being an Island Batik Ambassador. What a pleasure it was being an ambassador for them. I did it for um, 2021, 2022, and 2023, and then decided not to reapply. But I want to show you all of the quilts that I made while I was in the program. It They are joy to work with. The Island Batik fabrics were so beautiful. They're so nice to work with. They're such good quality. And it, this program expanded my horizon so much. I do so much more pattern designing. I use so many more colors. It really took me out of my comfort zone. That's probably one of my favorite things about this program. I worked with many other designers. They, all, all of the artists in that group, they just are so talented and make so many beautiful quilts. So thank you so much to Island Batik for letting me be an ambassador for three years, sending me all these gorgeous fabrics. Wait until you see some of the fabrics they sent. Many of the quilts you see, I have like a little companion project. So I tried to use the same fabric and maybe build on that. Uh, some little freebie tutorials. I have a whole playlist uh, on all my Island Boutique projects, the larger ones as well as the smaller ones. So you can look at that. If there's any questions you have, drop me a line in the comments. I am happy to uh, assist as I can. So without further ado, let's get started. I have a lot of quilts to show you. Have fun. So for my first challenge, the very first one in January of 2021, it was a free challenge and I decided to make some table, uh, some placemats, excuse me. Wasn't quite sure what to do. You know, I was new to the program, so I decided to keep it a little bit small. So I, I came up with this design. These are really easy to do. And again, just one more reminder, I know I've, I've said it a couple times. Um, most of these have tutorials with them. A lot of the bigger quilts will have like a smaller project with them. So this is definitely one of my freebie tutorials. Just make sure to go to my description of the video. There's a link to all of the different ones that you can find for Island Batik, or I have that playlist with all of them down. But so this next quilt was the second quilt I made, and this is one of those challenges that I was talking about where we had four challenges a year. Um, this was one that we needed, this was for a cause. And this quilt I call Pleiades, which is a blue moon, a blue, excuse me, blue star. This was based on a design I had done for my father many, many years ago. Love all the blues in that line of fabric that came out in 2021. And I love the 3D effect I did. I, I missed that quilt, but luckily they made some money on it for that auction, for that charity. But I did do a little mini for them, as, uh, not for them, excuse me, for me and for you, a uh, little mini freebie tutorial of just one of the friendship stars. So it's basically a 3D friendship star. And it's a lot of fun. It's really easy to do and get that effect. Um, but this was the main quilt. Okay, so the next one is big, I admit it. Um, and I love this quilt. This, Even though this is, I think, the third one I made for them, it's probably one of my most favorite. I'm not going to say my favorite. You're not supposed to pick favorites. But um, I am a scrappy quilter at heart. And I'm getting threads all over me. And this challenge was scrappy, and I was so excited to see it. And I'm going to show you a picture full on, and then I'm going to show you, because I definitely kept this one. Um, and this is all in blues, kept, kept with that blue theme. There we go. So one of the things that I really loved about this program was it challenged me to do things that I hadn't done before. Different techniques, um, that kind of thing. So this one, I don't do a lot of applique. I mean, I have done applique before the Island Batik Master Program, but I didn't do a lot of it. And this was another freebie. And I, for some reason, this fabric line, it was, um, I think it was Citroen Breeze. I hate to tell you the names because I don't want to say the wrong one because I can't remember back three years now. <laughs> Um, this was just a, a fun sort of whimsical piece, and again, I have a little companion to it. I'm showing you the quilt up on the screen, the whole thing. This was called Bubble Pop, and then I made a little mini called Bubble Tea. Uh, this was really easy to do. I just did the, you know, the circle, and I used all these different greens, and then the sashing was made up of two and a half inch squares, again, cut with an AccuQuilt cutter. Uh, so this is my bubble pop or bubble tea quilt. All right, here's my next challenge for 2021. 
for the, it was, I think it was April or May, um, I, they assigned me holiday fabric. They had a new line of holiday fabric. It was so pretty. And this is when I fell in love with their golds. They have so many gorgeous, saturated, rich golds. I love the reds and the greens too, don't get me wrong. And, and I was never a quilter with a ton of gold in my sort of palette. I didn't use a lot of it. But this fabric line changed me, and I love it. And again, this was also done with a AccuQuilt that I cut out all the pieces with AccuQuilt. It's called Holiday Diamonds. And I'm going to show you the quilts in person if I have them, and also up on screen so you can see the whole thing, because I am a little space challenged here. So, But I love this quilt. It comes out every Christmas. So here's another one where I don't have the quilt anymore. This was donated to a retirement community for a caretaker of my father's in nursing who had passed away. Very special person to us. And this was an AccuQuilt Go Challenge, and I was assigned the Hattie's Choice block, uh, um, dye block to use, and that's what I came up with. I love the yellows, the soft yellows and blues and whites. Just a nice, fresh quilt, and I thought it would look nice in the nursing home on the wall um, where they put it. So... So the next project was uh, sort of a freebie one. I believe it was a holiday, like holidays in July or Christmas in July or something like that. Um, so what I did is I had a lot of that fabric left over from that big diamond, um, the holiday diamond quilt I showed you earlier. I just made some little teeny tiny minis. These are coasters and there's a teeny tiny little log cabin in there. I'll show it to you up close. Here's a friendship star. Another friendship star. Here's a little chevron. I just had some fun with this, so I set up, I made some coasters. And then I made a tutorial. And these are all, again, all tutorials. I did little um, embroidery hoop, hoop ornaments, excuse me, with a couple different minis. Here's a bear's paw. Another log cabin. Here's another. I like the way the chevron turned out. So that's what I did for my July project. In August of 2021, it was another challenge, so we were highlighting uh, some fabrics. I loved this fabric line, lots of blues and greens and teals, that kind of thing, some yellow, some gold purples. Um, I, this was a gorgeous line. They're all gorgeous. I, I'm going to say that a lot in this video. I made two quilts for this. This was a challenge with Deb Tucker Studio 180 Designs. They assigned the ambassadors various rulers that they have. I, this one I designed with the corner beam, and I have two different quilts. I actually used the first, the main one was this one, and I call it Butterfly Wings, and I tried to make it kind of ombre looking. I This one makes me happy. I put this up in the summer. It's just such a fresh uh, color quilt. And if, if you've ever used a dead tucker ruler, you know that sometimes there's some cuttings that are left over. So with that, I made this. I call it shards of glass. And these were all these teeny little uh, sort of remnants of what we cut. Really fun little piece. Fun to put on a wall somewhere. Uh, both of them are great. I do. I love that butterfly wings. I really had fun using that tool. So the next project I had, again, was one I don't have anymore. Well, I have it, I think it's upstairs in my daughter's bedroom. Um, she's at college now. And um, it's a backpack. We One of the sponsors is Patterns by Annie, and I chose to make their backpack. And it was lots of fun. Very challenging for me. I've never made a bag before then. I've made a couple of totes, that kind of thing. So this was one of these that really, really challenged me, and I really enjoyed it because, you know, when you have a challenge and you successfully complete it, it just makes you feel that much better. So... One of the other sponsors was Orafil Thread. They were so generous all three years. They sent us gorgeous threads to use, and they always had a challenge once a year to do something with. And for the first year, 2021, it was highlighting their endangered species, and I got the blue-throated macaw. Again, another challenge for me. And remember how I said that I don't like to pick favorites or I, I shouldn't pick favorites? I'm not gonna lie, this is my favorite. Of all my Island Batik quilts, it's something that took me so far out of my box. This is Clyde, and I love it. It's a it's a collage I made. Make sure I'm holding up the right way. 
So Clyde is, I love this guy. He hangs on my wall in my quilt studio. Um, it just it was really fun. I'll do a little close up uh, sh video shoot of it too so you can see all the different fabrics. But this was a really fun challenge for me. I used just sort of slashing. You can see on the back how I stitched it. Um, and it's little, but it packs a big punch. All right, so here's another challenge quilt. This was a fabric line, a new one, another blues. I love the blues. This was called Constellations, and this was in November of 2021. The challenge for this month, uh, like I said, they give us different challenges for, ver for various months. For this month, they wanted us to do a Storm at Sea quilt. And that's basically the only parameter you had is you wanted, they wanted us to do the Storm at Sea. So I decided, I, there's so many gorgeous Storm at Seas. So for this one, I actually, what I did, and I did a tutorial on it, I sort of combined different AccuQuilt dye blocks and made a Storm at Sea um, quilt block. And then I highlighted, I just made each one different colors. And again, showing you pictures on the screen of the whole thing, but let me show you. This is another one I don't want to get rid of. I have so many quilts um, and it's hard to part with ones. And so there's some that I just can't part with, but this is called um, Night Navigator. So the final challenge of 2021 was English paper piecing. Again, something that I have not done a lot or I had not done a lot of uh, then. So what I did is I took a block um, from electric, excuse me, electric quilt eight, adapted it a little bit. And what I did is I did the blocks individually, pieced a background and then appliqued the um, English paper piecing on top. I call this mums the word. I used a lot of fall colors. They send us so many different colors, so I, I was able to like mix and match. So I have like a, a scrappy green background with a off green or very pale green border, and then all the different mums, which are English paper pieced. So I was lucky enough to get accepted again in 2022 to be an ambassador, and this was our first project. We, they wanted us to highlight their new gradient lines, where they have a certain colorway, like oranges or purples or browns, that kind of thing. So I came up with this. I got purples. Oh la la, so pretty. And I just had a lot of fun with this. I just made this a strips. Um, they gave us, uh, excuse me, half yard cuts, but I used, I cut them into strips. And this is a big fluffy quilt, nice and warm. This was used, I believe I used poly, Hobbs Batting Polyfill in this one. And I will say Hobbs Batting was another unbelievably generous supporter of this program. Um, we had enough, I still have batting from them that I haven't used yet. So, uh, and they, uh, they just were wonderful. But here's this, this is their purple gradients. I think it's called um, Playful Purples is the line that it's called. And these are, were always available in stores. I think they still are too. So next up was one of the challenges highlighting some new fabric. This was called Interurban, and it's all browns and golds. And again, not a color palette I had used a lot, but I have since fallen in love with it. The challenge was to make a line by line quilt. And one of the things that's so fun about the Island Boutique Ambassador Program is there are 20, or there were, again, I don't know if it's changed since I've been in it. Um, I did not reapply in 2024, so it may have changed. And this is from 2022. But to see what all of the designers and artists come up with is it's just it's so inspiring. I urge you to go look at all of the pro, uh, all the ambassadors and their gorgeous works because everybody comes up with something different and that's what's so amazing about it. For this line by line quilt, which is something I hadn't done before either, I just came up and designed sort of modern blocks and had this sort of this fabric spoke to me on this one and had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun on this photo shoot too. Again, I took it out in the snowy, a gorgeous snowy day. But this is my inner, this is the fabric line, it's called Interurban. 
oh, the golds on this are gorgeous. I'm going to show you up close of this too. Um, but here you go. An Orofil Thread Challenge was next up on the list. This one was fun. This year, 2022, they assigned us, they have these cities, uh, uh, Italian cities collections, and I was assigned Pompeii. So what I did, uh, because way back in high school, I was lucky enough to be able to visit Pompeii. Uh, I was fascinated by all the mosaics in, in Italy, all over all the ground. They're just incredible, these tiny little mosaic pieces. So what I came up with was a Roman amphora mosaic using their stitching, um, excuse me, using their thread to sort of form that mosaic look. This was lots of fun. I'm definitely going to show you close up of this, but this was uh, sort of a fusible, inter uh, excuse me, fusible applique, fusible paper. Gosh, I can't speak today. To get those shapes, I have like the Greek keys which probably aren't appropriate for the Roman amphora, but whatever. <laughs> um, it's my take on a, 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 on a, a, a Roman mosaic. But there's the amphora in the middle, and I'm going to switch the camera so you can see some of the stitching because I used, there were three gorgeous reds in this Pompeii grouping. Another sponsor in 2022 was the Funky Friends Factory, which is stuffed animals. Again, something I hadn't done before, so I had fun with this project. We were able to choose which pattern we wanted, and I made Henrietta the Hedgehog. I call her Henrietta, <laughs> it's, um, but this is the Hedgehog pattern. I kind of messed it up. Her ear doesn't flap back, but that kind of makes her charming to me, a little endearing. So this will stay in my studio, but this is, the, um, this is Henrietta the Hedgehog. Okay, next up, the challenge for us was to make something with triangles. Again, there were no other set parameters. They just said, do something with triangles. So I came up with a paper piece triangle, which I still want to turn into a pattern that I can offer on my Etsy shop, but I haven't done it yet. I, it's just, you, you kind of get caught up in things you get behind. And I used this gorgeous fabric, black and white fabrics, and then highlighted those bright jewel tone, um, Island Boutique jewel tones. But the black and whites were a strip set that I used, so they worked perfectly with this quilt. And I believe, I think I call this lightning. Let me, I can't remember. I think I called this lightning, but I can't remember exactly. Alrighty, here's another challenge. This one was for a New York beauty. Another one I had never done. I've always wanted to try it. So I was kind of excited about this one. It was a challenge. I had so much fun with this though. And again, it's another quilt. You know, you get that challenge and you, you make it work. I think it made, I think I, it worked. This is fabric. This was a dead tucker line for Island Boutique. Very muted tones, which I love. And I will show you this again. This is my New York Beauty, um, I believe I called it Empire State Building in the 30s or something. It kind of was Art Deco to me. I don't know, the New York Beauty block sometimes reads Art Deco to me. Um, so here you go. And what I did with this extra fabric is I had a fun little tutorial on a baseball cap with some mini quilt blocks. So uh, halfway through the year, we get our second shipment, or traditionally got our second shipment, and in that shipment for 2022 was the block that AccuQuilt wanted us to use for their challenge, and that came up next. They were We were given, excuse me, the Tree of Life uh, die that they have, really nice block. I wanted to go, and again, they don't put any parameters on it, so I messed around with it a little bit, and I did a little differently. Everybody does something different. I switched it upside down, and it kind of reminded me of an angel. So I, because it was July, I figured I'd go Christmas in July. And this is the Tree of Life block with some snowflakes added, some, um, you know, some fusible um, applique. But here are my angels. I made them in two different colors. 
All right, so here's another one of our challenges highlighting a new fabric line. This was 2022. Silverado Canyon was this fabric line, gorgeous, sort of a little bit grayer, uh, muted grays, blue navies, some other darker blue grays, and a couple of creams. Really enjoyed this too. I've said it before, I loved this program because it took me out of my sort of color comfort. You get in sort of your favorite colors, which I still love, don't get me wrong, but um, uh, this was a fun one. It's And I call this uh, River Walk or River Bed, excuse me. This was a Deb Tucker Studio 180 challenge, so they gave us a ruler. I combined this one with the ruler I got the previous year, so I used the corner beam and the corner pop and came up with this. By Annie was the next challenge sponsor, and I chose these cosmetic bags. I chose a larger one and a medium one, and I've used them many times. In fact, they're being used right now upstairs in my uh, in my bathroom, <laughs> so I didn't want to bring them down, but um, you can see pictures of them. I used a really fun and fruity collection. You can choose what fabrics you want to use to make your bags in. So that's what I came up with for the next By Annie challenge. All right, we're almost done with 2022. It's, it's hard to believe this. I can't believe I did it for three years and already all these quilts are so familiar to me. They're like family. Um, I know that sounds weird, but if you quilt a lot, you know what I'm, I think you know what I'm saying. The next one was a, was a holiday challenge. So I had these strips from Kate Colleran and I made a little tutorial for mini quilted Christmas stockings. Here's a few of them it's using those really fun and sort of funky colors. I used their pinks and greens and lime greens and I hang them on my tree, put treats in them. Uh, this was just a lot of fun and it was a little tutorial. So that was my November of 2022 project. I'm going to show you lots of pictures of this next quilt. This was my final challenge for 2022. We had to do a Lone Star quilt. And I used AccuQuilt Diamond Shapes to cut my shapes. One of the things, I've mentioned this before in other videos, I like to uh, design my own patterns. I sort of like to design sometimes as I'm sewing along. Wait till you see the size of this one. <laughs> Luckily, my long arm quilter, who is so wonderful, helped me out with this one. It ended up being almost a king size, but it's a funny shape. So you'll see it's a six-sided Lone Star um, that went grew and grew, and I didn't realize how big it was going to be. Um, but I love it. It's really interesting. Uh, but of all of the challenges of all three years, this was the most challenging. I ended up having to get more fabric because I ran out. Um, it was a whole myriad of things but I love it, it really packs a punch. I reapplied for 2023 and lucky enough I got in again. I was excited to do this for my third year. Our very first challenge was a puff quilt. I've never made one of those, so I had fun with this. This was with gorgeous fabric line they had given me. Um, this is one of the, the new ones that I was supposed to highlight. We all made different puff quilts. There's so many pretty ones. You ought to go look at them. I decided to do like a patch of four puffs and then a flat patch. This is actually hand tied because I had no idea how to quilt this. Um, and I didn't, it would have been too hard, I think. I mean, the long arm, I'm sure, I bet she could have done it. I, I didn't ask. I just went ahead and hand tied. I don't do a lot of hand tying. But this is my puff quilt. And let me tell you, this thing keeps you warm. I love it. <laughs> Next challenge was a free one, so we could do whatever we wanted. And I had been wanting to do a bed runner. I like doing bed runners, so a little bit different shape. And I got these gorgeous strips of Deb Tucker's, I believe it's Exuberance. It's, it may still be in stores as of right now. It's, I'm filming this in January 2024. Bright bold, gorgeous colors. Um, it may not be, I'm not sure, but um, it's just beautiful. So I came up with a quilt as you go tutorial for this fabric. And again, I have the whole picture of, I'll sort of slide it down. Bed runners are really long. And then I joined it on the back. Uh, so I show you in my tutorial, uh, dropping it, how to do that. But this was my uh, freebie challenge. It was a quilt as you go bed runner. Up next, they wanted us to do some crazy quilting. I love crazy quilting. In fact, one of my earlier, earliest videos is on how to do some sort of crazy quilted fabric or making your own fabric. So what I really love to do is combining the same colorways, like all greens or all purples, and doing crazy quilting that way and sort of making up new fabric. 
So we could do, again, whatever we wanted. They just wanted crazy quilting. So I came up with this little Christmas tree hanging. May of 2022 was another Deb Tucker Ruler Challenge Studio 180 Designs. I got the Split Rect tool, which is one I had always wanted, so I was really glad to do that. I love split rectangles, and this helps me a lot with it, because they're kind of hard to design. If you're a design, quilt designer, you know they can be a little tricky to make. So I came up with this. It's like a beachy theme, because the fabric I got was beach-themed. Beautiful line of pinks and blues and greens. So I came up with this. And it was just a lot of fun to make this one. Oops. The next challenge of 2023 was flying geese. Again, you do whatever you wanted. So what I decided to do, because they had given me a gorgeous pack of 10-inch pre-cuts, these gorgeous jewel tones, look at those colors. And they were, to me, screaming that they needed to be on a black background. And I have a YouTube series on quilting with pre-cuts. They have a couple of freebie patterns for quilts um, with different pre-cuts. So this is actually one of those freebie patterns. I had a lot of fun making this. Quilting it, I had some fun with this one. I actually quilted myself, and I don't usually quilt such big quilts, but I had numerous. I was trying to test something out, so I had a lot of fun. So this this was a it, it just it's just such a rich color quilt, very easy to make. Oops. My next challenge was an Accu quilt covering the world. They, they asked you to donate a quilt. So I donated one. Now, I'm showing you the picture. The one I made actually for my the charity I donated to, again, that retirement community, uh, is in all blues, in their gradient blues, in Island Batiste blues. Gorgeous. I love blue. Blue has always been one of my favorite colors, and it's funny because this program has really expanded my uh, choice of colors. But I want to show it to you because this was actually a pattern I have in my Etsy shop now, but it was on the cover of Make Modern Magazine, so I was really excited about this. So I'm going to show you it in an orange version but because I don't have the blue one anymore, it went up for auction. This is a great, easy pattern to do. It looks a little tricky, but it's really easy. Great for strip sets, just saying. So check out my Etsy shop if you like this pattern. The next challenge was foundation paper piecing. Again, not something I do a ton of, but a challenge is a challenge, and I... I gotta say, I, this might be up here with my favorites too. So I came up with this design. I played on Electric Quilt 8, and it looks a little bit like a crown to me. The fabric was gorgeous. These luscious, rich jewel tones of golds and purples and plums. Uh, I really, it, it's fun to see how my progress evolved in these three years, and I really love this quilt. So the next two I'm going to show you are just pictures. The, I have two throw pillows, AccuQuilt. They gave us all the North Carolina star dye to use. So I came up with a couple of throw pillows using a beautiful Kara Moller's line called, um, from Island Batik called Country Charm. And they actually are up on my sofa right now. And um, quite frankly, my studio is in the basement. I just didn't feel like going back upstairs. I had been up and down the stairs so many times this morning. But um that sounds bad. But anyway, <laughs> they're upstairs on my sofa. Love them. There's some pictures of them. And then the next challenge was the last by any bag that I did. My mother uses a walker now, and they had the walker pattern. You could choose what pattern you wanted. And as soon as I saw that walker pattern, or bag for a walker, I knew that's what I wanted to do. That fabric is gorgeous. It looks good with her bright red walker. She loves it. She was showing all the ladies in the retirement home the, the, the things and... Um, so it was lots of fun. It's very handy. I love that bag. Again, another so in December of 2023, I knew by then you apply, and I again, this is all subject to change because I don't know what they're doing now, but normally I think you apply in November to be an ambassador, and I knew by then that I wasn't going to continue. I didn't want to reapply, 
I actually loved doing this, but I wanted to concentrate on a few other things. So I decided not to do it anymore. So this is my final Island Boutique Ambassador project. I was assigned their fabric red, white, and blooms. And you could, it was celebration. So any holiday, any celebration, whatever you wanted to do. And since I got that beautiful red, white, and blue fabric, I thought, okay, well, for the July summer holidays, and I came up with this little mini paper pieced, <clears throat> excuse me, the star is from Electric Quilt 8. It's a little, and I scaled it down and just made this adorable little stars and stripes wall hanging. There's the back of it. I used some more of the fabric that I had left over. Beautiful line. So this is my final ambassador project with Island Boutique Ambassadors. So there you go. There was my trunk show, my quilt uh, show from my three years of being an Island Boutique brand ambassador. What a fun three years it was. What a fun ride. I thank them so much and all of the sponsors. If you have any questions on any of the quilts, drop me a line in the comments. I'd appreciate it and I'll get back to you. I do have the playlist and I do have a lot of those little sort of extra tutorials that I showed pictures of. So um, if you want to make a mini or something like that, you can refer back to that. But I have the Island Boutique playlist, which has all of these quilts in it, or almost all of them. I shouldn't say all of them, but most of them. And then those little um, freebie tutorials too. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.